Hey everyone, welcome back to channel, where we bring you the latest and greatest in tech. Today we're diving into the best 1080p GPUs of 2025. Whether you're a budget gamer or just looking to upgrade, we've got you covered. Let's get started. Number 5. GeForce RTX 4090 For some, the best graphics card is the fastest card, regardless of price. NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 4090 is designed specifically for this type of customer. It also marked the introduction of NVIDIA's Ada Lovelace architecture. And it will be the most powerful card NVIDIA has to offer, probably until 2025, when the next generation GPUs are expected. The RTX 4090 has a greater performance gap than the next closest NVIDIA GPU. It outperforms the RTX 4080 in our suite of gaming benchmarks by 35%. It's also 51% faster than AMD's top-tier RX 7900 XTX, but costs around 60% more. To be clear, you will need a high refresh rate 4K monitor to get the most out of the RTX 4090. At 1440 p its advantage over a 4080 drops to 23%, and at 1080 p it's only 13%. And that includes some demanding DXR titles. Number 4 Radeon RX 7900 XDX The Red Team King is no longer with us. Long live the Red Team King. AMD's Radeon RX 7900 XTX is the company's fastest graphics card and it ranks near the top of the lists with a generational price increase to match. Officially priced at $999, the most affordable variants now start around $950 and supply has finally caught up to demand. The 7900 XTX is in high demand for good reason since it features AMD's newest RDNA 3 architecture. This gives the 7900 XTX much higher compute power, as well as 33% more memory and bandwidth. When compared to the RX 6950 XT, the new GPU is 40% quicker at 4K, 30% faster at 1440p, and only 24% faster at 1080 it also provides that performance gain without significantly affecting power consumption or graphics card size. AMD remains a viable option for anyone who isn't concerned with ray tracing, and when you consider the enormous impact to speed for typically minor benefits in image fidelity, we can see why. Still, the number of games that support RT is growing, and the majority of those also support NVIDIA's DLS technology, which AMD hasn't fully addressed even if SR2 can come close at times. If you want the best DXR slash RT experience right now, NVIDIA is still the clear winner. The new second generation Ray accelerators in the RX 7900 XTX enable 4K gaming on ultra settings with ray tracing on an AMD card, something that the previous flagship AMD card, the RX 6950 XT, couldn't quite achieve. Its rasterization performance is also second only to the RTX 4090, but that is an industrial strength GPU disguised as consumer hardware. The RX 7900 XTX and XT use AMD's cutting-edge RDNA 3 architecture, which delivers excellent rasterization performance. Ray tracing remains a second-class citizen, and while quicker than the previous generation, AMD can't compete with NVIDIA and DXR games. And that doesn't even include DLSS, which is still widely used. AMD had a huge bar to clear with the AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX, and it pulls off a significant upset against NVIDIA's rival RTX 4080 in every manner that it needed to. It isn't always the better graphics card in this or that test, and its ray tracing ability lags behind the RTX 4080, not to mention its creative performance, but with its outstanding overall performance and very competitive price point, it is exactly the type of enthusiast graphics card that our current era requires. Number 3 NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 Despite being a last-generation GPU, the NVIDIA RTX 3090 remains one of the greatest graphics cards available. No game or, more importantly, heavy graphics project will suffer from performance concerns with the huge 24GB of RAM. In reality, we were able to obtain 8K performance at 60 frames per second out of the 3090. However, even three years after its release, it is still an extremely pricey device, and it is quite huge, so it will most likely be too much GPU for most people. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 is essentially a Titan replacement, meaning it's aimed more at the creative user, tackling intense 3D and video rendering than the passionate gamer. Nonetheless, it is far less expensive than the Titan, making it a steal for creative artists used to spending a lot of money on their tools of the trade. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 is the most powerful graphics card on the market today, offering playable 8K gaming performance as well as jaw-dropping 3D rendering and encoding capabilities. However, this degree of strength comes at a hefty cost. The vast majority of users are unlikely to find it worthwhile, 
but for creative professionals whom NVIDIA is primarily targeting with this card, the RTX 3090 is a steal. The RTX 3090, like its smaller sibling, the RTX 3080, is based on NVIDIA's Ampere architecture and employs the full-fat GA102 GPU. This time, we'll get 82 streaming multiprocessors, SM, for a total of 10,496 TVA cores, 328 Tensor cores, and 82 RT cores. The RTX 3090 also has 24GB of GDDR6X video memory on a 384-bit bus, resulting in 936GB of memory bandwidth, nearly a terabyte of data per second. Anyone who conducts significant 3D rendering work in tools like DaVinci Resolve and Blender will benefit greatly from having such a large allocation of VRAM that is this quick. And when your job requires these apps, anything that helps shorten project timelines saves you money in the long run. When combined with the RTX 3090's inexpensive price, at least when compared to the Titan RTX, it's a no-brainer. The NVIDIA VueForce RTX 3090 Founders Edition, like the RTX 3080, is hands down the greatest cooler design Team Green has ever shipped. While this is a big graphics card, the monster is 12.3 inches long, has three slots, and weights a lot. We have a scale and NVIDIA doesn't list the weight, but it's definitely more than 7 pounds. Number 2 AMD Radeon RX 7800 XT with the release of Nave 32, as well as the RX 7800 XT and RX 7700 XT, AMD has finalized its new RDNA 3 GPU family. The 7800 XT is clearly the better of the two cards. It's up to 20% faster and just 11% more expensive. That's not to claim as a complete win. It's also only 5% faster than the old RX 6800 XT and has the same $500 starting price. It does, however, have a few advantages. Although overall performance is only marginally enhanced, the 7800 XT uses approximately 45 degree less power than the 6800 XT in our testing. Alternatively, it offers about the same performance as the 6900 XT while consuming less power and costing less online. It also includes AV1 encoding capability and DP 2.1 video output, as well as better computing and AI capabilities. It's roughly 45% quicker in stable diffusion than the 6800 XT, for example. Given that Navi 22 powered the RX 6700 class GPUs, it would have made more sense for Navi 32 to power the RX 7700 class GPUs as well. In that situation, the generational jump from the 6700 XT to the RX 7800 XT would have been ideal, as the RX 7800 XT is roughly 60% faster. But then we have a new $499 MSRP gadget replacing a prior $479 MSRP card that's now retailing for approximately $320. In other words, AMD GPU is remaining inventory and value for money remain a source of contention. AMD's RX 7800 XT does not significantly exceed its predecessor, but it is $150 cheaper at launch. However, at the current rates, it's essentially a lateral transfer with some architectural and feature tweaks to sweeten the bargain. The AMD Radeon RX 7800 XT will be an excellent graphics card for many gamers who do not have the funds to spend on NVIDIA's considerably more expensive rival product. Number 1 NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 Ti It's difficult to choose between the AMD Radeon RX 7700 XT and this, the 8GB version of the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 T for a quad HD tuned PC. The Radeon is faster in non-ray traced native res games and comes with greater VRAM 12GB. But I'd still go with the RTX 4060 Ti. Apart from being substantially less expensive than the RX 7700 XT, some models of which cost almost as much as an RX 7800 XT, it more than makes up for its performance deficit once you start using all its toys. DLSS upscaling appears to be better than SSRs, but there's also the RTX 4060, takes vastly higher ray tracing performance and the option of enabling DLSS 3 to send frame rates skyrocketing. Even basic DLSS upscaling can tip the scales in the RTX 4060 tie's favor. It could average 46 eps at 1440 with maximal settings, cycle ray tracing, and DLSS on quality, whilst the RX 7700 XT could only manage 38 heps with quality SSR. The GPU's maximum power consumption is only 160W, which is 40W less than the RTX 3060 T despite producing higher frames per second. Guys, there concludes our top 5 best 1080p GPU of 2025 list. 
All product links are in the description, which is updated with the lowest prices. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. Until then, we'll see you in the next video.